good morning if it is a good morning today's video will be brought to you by the hashtag UK storm it has been blowing a gale the rain's just eased off but it was hammering down a second or two ago it's February soggy February it's the 15th gosh my hands are freezing <laughs> um, it's quarter to seven in the morning uh, I'm off to Cardiff uh, I'm not sure about the train so far I haven't an update from uh, the Riva Trains Wales I don't think it's going to be oh yes it could be a tiny rebel day I've got the urban tap house maybe get hit by a sign keep your eyes on Twitter for that one anyway it blew an absolute gale overnight it's still very blowy now although less so when it's going to calm down during the day so we're at home fed up with the weather completely and just now hammering down with hail and it's gone it's stopped raining just for a while the wind's still blowing and five minutes for the Plath train which I'll take to Queen Street Okay. It's blowing. The signs are blowing. It's stopped raining down here. It's significantly more windy. Which I think has something to do with the fact it's needed to the sea, would you call it? Better colour palette. And all of a sudden the wind's dropped. And then it's very gusty. This is where I will monitor hashtag UK store. Well, at least until the beers run out. That's real ales. Nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, because this is Cardiff. Not Newport or Caffilly. Surprisingly drinking an ale from Caffilly. Let's look. <laughs> This is Castle Cork or Castle Cork. Anyway, the Fairy Castle, as it's known locally. 4.7% alcohol by volume, brewed by Celt Experience from Philly. And it's a lively little blighter. £1.99 as well. It's the Manning. Look at the carpet. Hmm. It's like, I think it's, yeah, bitter stance off in English, or in this case Welsh, progresses across the Atlantic to the USA. I'm not sure if it all together works, but it's different, so I'll give them a B plus. Number two, Scourers Brew. Scourers Brew, really? By white horse at four and a half percent alcohol by volume, I'd say that's a golden ale. I'm thinking American hops. A nice carpet. Um doesn't really taste of anything, there's a slight Bitter finish, but that's about it. Bit of a beam. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Okay, chips done. City Arms. Just a quick look, see. Because I'm also opposite these boys. As you can see, it's a bit of a beer pub. And here is my beer. Folklore from Milk Sweet, from Foon, Devon, I think. Four people. Flooded, 3.9% alcohol by volume, ruby red, they say, it looks ruby red. Hmm. 
Mmm. All in the finish. That's a nice bitter. B plus. B plus coal. Uh, plain wood. Four wise plain wood. Okay, maybe halves. A variety. If only, if only. It's just the table name and how unlucky. Anyway, this is old stock. And I am thinking in halves. Oh, well, they have this light deck thing where you can get thirds. It says 5.8% alcohol by volume. Here's the third. Wow. Anyway. Oh. Easy A minus. Lovely. Still at table 14. Yeah, no, not really. Um, ooh. This is from Arbo and it's called Motika, I think. M O T U E K A. 3.8% and it says a golden session bitter. This will probably get me a YouTube take down no doubt music. Mm. A bit like Tiny Rebel, more so in the finish. Not bad at all. Ah, oh, I've got to give it a B plus plus. And I have. I'm done. This is Brains Brewery. And there's High Spy. High Spy. High Speed. Lots of High Speed. Into Valley Trains. Shut up. Shut up.